Mathematics plays a huge role in our everyday life. As human beings, we use math every day when separating our problems into smaller problems, comparing prices in the supermarket, estimating how much time we need to reach the bus, helping our kids do their mathematics homework. Not to mention all the mathematics that is black boxed into devices such as mobile phones, computers, cars, airplanes, credit cards, is the driving force in the development of new technology. My name is Martin Carlsen and I'm a professor of mathematics education at UIA. I teach mathematics and mathematics education to students at all academic levels. If we take four consecutive numbers, add one, we can write it as an expression to the power two. The numbers I chose is correct, but I haven't proven it for every number yet. Okay. It is always intellectually stimulating yeah. to discuss mathematics in the classroom. I bring up many what-if questions to get them to contribute with their own ideas and arguments. What if every second number? I want them to think mathematically and bring that frame of mind into their future careers as teachers. When teaching mathematics, the age of the student doesn't really matter. What differs is the level of the mathematics in the problem posed. In kindergarten, one can start off by, for example, questioning the distance between this B and this B. In upper secondary school and at university, length is associated with vectors in algebra. Length of curves, length of infinitesimals, Lengths associated with limits and asymptotes in calculus. At UIA, we have the largest research community in mathematics education. Becoming a student here makes you a part of that community. UIA is very focused on educating mathematics teachers and has the appropriate tools and concepts to do so in the best possible way. Thus, what makes the study program in mathematics education so unique is the fact that you will be taught by excellent top researchers in different fields, both national and international. You will also have the opportunity to be part of research projects. Math is needed to solve today's and the future's most difficult problems, like climate change, poverty, global economic issues, and food production.